Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all know the importance of electronic warfare capability in the present day Air Force. In the lights of the same, Indian Air Force has signed two major deals with Bharat Electronics Limited BEL to boost its electronic warfare capability on 29th of March. The first deal is about the advanced electronic warfare suite for the fighter aircraft of Indian Air Force. The Ministry of Defence and BEL concluded a contract for supply of advanced electronic warfare suite for fighter aircraft of Indian Air Force. The contract was signed between MOD and BEL and the overall cost of the contract is estimated to be around 1,993 crore rupees. The supply of advanced electronic warfare system will significantly enhance the battle survivability of Indian Air Force fighter aircraft while undertaking operation missions against adversaries ground-based as well as airborne fire control and surveillance radars. The second deal was signed with Ministry of Defence and BL again for the Instrumented Electronic Warfare Range or IEWR for the Indian Air Force. The contract is again a significant step towards enhancing the capabilities of Indian Air Force to prepare for future warfare. The overall contract cost is estimated to be around 1,109 crore rupees. The IEWR will be used to test and evaluate airborne electronic warfare equipment and validate their deployment in an operational scenario. The electronic warfare equipment can be a fighter jet equipped with new EW suite or a dedicated airborne early warning system. Though not officially confirmed, the electronic warfare suite is most likely to be the D-29 system developed by DRDO for Indian Air Force MiG-29 UPG aircraft. As per reports, 42 D-29 systems are to be supplied by BEL which is the production partner of DRDO developed electronic warfare suite. These EW suites will significantly enhance the survivability of MiG-29 aircraft while undertaking operational missions against ground-based as well as airborne fire control and surveillance radars. The D-29 is an integrated electronic warfare system for radar warning and jamming that encompasses RWR, ECM, ESCM functions and utilizes state-of-art active phased arrays for selectively jamming the multiple threat radars. The D-29 system serves primarily as a self-protection jammer that will boost survivability, enhance situational awareness and increase mission effectiveness. The system detects and gives information about the position of the RF sources, illuminating the aircraft and applies appropriate DFRM-based jamming techniques between 6 to 18 GHz. The system mainly consists of unified receiver exciter processor, solid state transmitter receiver unit with active array unit and a liquid cooling system. The D29 system has a completed flight evaluations from users for ground and airborne emitters in Nashik and Gwalior. The system performance has been satisfactory and the modification of all six MiG-29 fighters has been completed for the installation of D-29. The MiG-29 UPG is the only fighter jet after a file to have a dedicated electronic warfare suite. Indian Air Force is currently operating three squadrons of MiG-29, which is number 28, number 47, and number 223 squadron. Initially, six MiG-29s were upgraded in Russia, and remaining fighters were upgraded at 11 base repair depot in India. Over 60 MiG-29s have already been upgraded to make them more relevant and contemporary and capable. The last two of the legacy MiG-29s were handed over for upgrade retrofit to the Indian Air Force 11 Base Repair Depot at Ojhar, Maharashtra on September 29, 2019. Indian Air Force MiG-29 upgrade has been termed as the most advanced variant of MiG-29 by the Russian OEM Mikhoyan. The upgrade cost for each MiG-29 is reported to be $15 million. As per Indian Air Force official, MiG-29 UPG capability is comparable to the F-16 Block 70 variant. Now, the addition of D-29 electronic warfare system is further going to boost the MiG-29's capabilities. The major upgrade in MiG-29 includes Zook ME AAC radar, which gives the fighter ground attack capability and can track two surface targets simultaneously. 
it is an all weather multi mode airborne radar in air to air mode it can detect targets at 120 km range and track up to 10 targets and attack four targets simultaneously in air to surface mode it can detect a tank 25 km away a bridge 120 km away and a naval destroyer 300 km away The new series 3 ID33 engines are at the heart of the capability upgrade which extends the relevance of Indian Air Force MiG-29 fleet by another 15 years. It has further increased the weapon's payload to 4500 kg and six underwing and one ventral hardpoints similar to that of MiG-35. There has been significant increase up to 40% in the range of MiG-29 UPG. It can now take up missions up to 2,100 km on internal fuel tank. Additionally, retractable probe has been added for air-to-air -air refueling. The weapon's upgrade includes the medium-range R-77R VVE and close-range R-74 air-to-air missile and KH-35E anti-ship missile. The R-77R VVAE is an active radar homing air-to-air -air missile with operational altitude of 5 meters to 25 kilometers, the speed of Mach 4.5, and maximum turn rate of 150 degree per second, and maximum range of 80 kilometers. It uses inertial navigation for mid-course update, and within 20 kilometers of its target, switch to active radar homing. The R-74 is an infrared missile with plus minus 60 degree of bore side and improved IR CCM. It will be replaced by next generation MBDS S RAM and can be launched in LOBL and LOAL modes with speed over Mach 3 range 50 km, 50G maneuverability, AS RAM outperforms all existing short range close combat missiles. KS-35 is again an all-weather subsonic anti-ship missile with a range of 130 km and speed of 0.8 Mach. It uses inertial navigation for mid-course update and within 20 km of its target switch to active radar homing. The missile has low signature and approach targets at extremely low altitude from 20 km. The MiG-29 UPG also has ELT-568 on board. It is a solid-state self-protection jammer intended to neutralize radar-based air defense system and radar-guided surface-to-air or air-to-air -air missiles. Besides, it also provides jamming against air surveillance radar system. The jammer has been developed by Electronica SPA and has been designed for installation on MiG-29 aircraft. The Indian MiG-29 UPGs feature OLS UEM system. It consists of 320 by 256 pixel infrared sensor and 640 by 480 pixel TV camera achieving the infrared search and track IRST capability during air to air engagement it has laser thermal imaging and television capabilities which can detect airborne targets at a range of 15 to 55 kilometers at plus minus 90 degree of azimuth and plus minus 60 degree to minus 15 degree in elevation it allows silent search for attack on targets that is without target knowing that it is being tracked apart from these major upgrades the other minor upgrades include advanced weapon control system avionics laser guided pgm capability secure data link to enable guidance from avox and ground radar improved glass cockpit with enhanced hotas design new iff new rwr which can identify the type of enemy radar and cue the aasa jammers with high erp or emitted radiated power for effective electronic countermeasures overall the upgrade of mig29 upg has bought it at par with the latest 4.5th generation fighter apart from significant boost to its combat and electronic warfare capabilities this upgrade has increased the life of the fighter by 15 more years reduced maintenance cost by 40% and increased operational range by 40%. With the integration of D29 electronic warfare suite, the buzz of Indian Air Force is going to become super buzz. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector